And one, two, three, and a punch. I ended up getting a letter in the mail from the military saying that they were going to send me to Iraq. And <laughs> at the time, this was like in the middle of the war. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and learn how I do this everyday makeup look. Okay guys, so we are here at Cosmetic Injectable Center and Lex is with me because I am going to get my lip injections done and Lex is going to watch all of this magic happen. There's a dog. Whoa, why are you here? I'm going to get lip injections today. Why? Look Lex, we can't all have nice plump lips like you and daddy. <laughs> Chris is doing behind the camera. Why do you want to list like this? Okay, Lex, are you ready to inject your mother with some lip injections? I get to do it? Yes, you get to do it. Okay, guys. Oh! This isn't hurting. Ah! It's all that uh, ah! thing that you do. Girl. I did it only today. I usually don't, but then today I was like, scrubbing. don't. You usually no. don't. Maybe I do it when I'm not paying attention. I need to stop her I from know. scrubbing. Ah! Okay, you do it. You gotta wipe off the okay, makeup. Go ahead. I'm not gonna do it. Fine. Just the, the upper lip border. doesn't sting. Border, 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 border. Lex said Botox no. time. You want the Botox? No. I'm getting closer though. <laughs> here, you get close right here. Look at the camera. Go, yeah. Lex, hold my hand, hold my hand, hold my hand. Ah, not the finger, give your hand. I might break your hand. It's okay though. What? Here. I'm gonna squeeze you, okay? Okay, ready? okay I'm ready. Okay, hold her tight. Okay, here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Uh huh. All right. Relax. I've done this before. One, two, three. Ouch. <laughs> one, two, three, and an ouch. Oh. And one, two, three, and an ouch. And you're done with that quadrant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now normally when I use this technique, I numb, but this woman mm -hmm. is refusing. I, I, I insisted. I she enjoys pain. I'll fudge the goals. What do you think, Lex? Um, Something you do? No. <laughs> God, that looks luscious, actually. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Don't laugh at your mother's pain. Oh, you know we're trying to keep it on. It looks okay. really good. So yeah. we have a little bit more of a syringe. Do you and I think we know. Yeah. Okay. Take a look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. The tip of this. And bring bring it together. Like okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can't mess with this area without having pain. You're gonna have to distract your mom. I'm gonna put a little bit of a uh, marker for myself because I want it to turn out perfectly even. Mm -hmm. All right, that's where we draw a mustache. Lex! <laughs> okay, here we go. One, two, three, and ouch. I can see it expanding. Please. Sorry. Could I squeeze you two tight, Lex? Yeah. Look, okay. now they're a little bit closer mm -hmm. together. Oh, now they're not so wide apart. Yeah. I think you got a really nice cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So I have a little bit left. Mm -hmm. And you see that little dimple? I want to fill it there. Mm -hmm. You want your dimples filled too, Lex? Okay. And you are done, my dear. Yay! Thank you. Hi guys, so we're just having a good old fashioned mommy and kiddo hangout right now. We're just literally on our phones and talking about Lex's childhood and I was seeing if Lex remembers certain stories. You know, it got me thinking about my childhood and what came to mind was a few funny stories that I don't think that I've ever shared with Lex, so. Like when you smack the kid with the stick and when you put a, a, a cat in a stranger's house and then when you're selling tadpoles, Yes, sweetie, that's right. Mommy did do all of those things. If you guys are new to our channel, 
channel. You guys probably don't know that it, I used to be doing this channel by myself and I used to share my rebellious teen story times and like our haunted house story times from the house that we used to live in. Uh, so I was literally a story timer before we were a family vlog channel. Don't mind me, I'll just be playing Call of Duty. So if you haven't checked those out, make sure that you guys do because you're definitely gonna see a different side of me. But also I suggest watching my Draw My Life video so that it all makes sense why I was just such a bad kid growing up. Can I get a combat knife that looks like that? So since Lex and I were sharing stories, I figured that maybe I can share some stories with all of us just casually hanging out about my adulthood. So one of the first one of the first stories that you guys don't know and that I haven't really talked to Lex about is that I was almost in the Army National Guard. I told you about that a little yeah, bit, right? You thought you were gonna be cool because you were gonna drive a tank. When I was a senior in high school, I didn't know what I was gonna do. Lex was already born and for some reason like these recruiters for the military heavily target high school students so I think I was in the mall when I was approached. I was drawn in and they told me like the benefits of being in the military and the National Guard and all that. The benefits are you get to get blown up. Well speaking of that you're gonna get blown up right there in that game. I'm really good. At this game. Long story short I ended up signing up to join the Army National Guard and there was one assigned recruiter to me. So during school one time he picked me up from high school and took me out and I guess like the school allows this kind of thing. It's kind of weird. So I know. So I went in his personal car and like the recruiter like drives me to the place that you take a test. So they did like a physical exam, like to like see like if you can see well, they did like a vision test and they did like hearing tests to make sure that you can hear. So they would play like this beep and like they would try to see like if you can hear every single beep no matter how quiet it was and like check your vision. So that you can hear like a, a clicking of a grenade. Maybe. Like someone like undoing the, the hook. So, and then they actually give you like this exam, like a written exam, like multiple choice. And, but anyway, based on that test, they ended up assigning me to be a tank driver. That's a pretty cool job. Which is probably one of the most dangerous jobs because those are like cool. targets and they get blown up. I don't know, it, I guess it could be like the most safest because you're in a tank, but it could also be the most dangerous. I ended up getting really excited because they told me that they would give me a $10,000 signing bonus and I thought it was just gonna be a great opportunity. Well, it's worth it then, $10,000. Well, that was a lot of money to me in uh, my senior year in high school. So he, w he was like, oh, you know how many Louis Vuitton bags you can get? <laughs> and I was like, yes. Well, you can't buy them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so um, I signed the paper and basically I thought it was a good opportunity because Lex would have health insurance like and would be taken care of and at the time like it was under the assumption that military were taken care of for the rest of their life. No, that's so, why they're always homeless. Huh? They're always homeless, the veterans. Yeah, we know that now. So um... <laughs> Hopefully I don't get in trouble for this, but what happened was that daddy was actually upset and didn't want me to uh, go, so he just, told me, I'll just pay you $10,000 not to go. And I'm still waiting for that money though, okay? <laughs> I'm still waiting for that money, Chris. It doesn't count if it's not a pinky <clears throat> promise. So you guys, here's where the story gets crazy and scary for me at the time. So basically once you sign up after high school, you go to basic training in like a different state and then they train you for the military. Um, so I knew that I was gonna go to like Texas or something, I can't remember exactly where, but as I was waiting for the basic training to happen, I ended up getting a letter in the mail from the military saying that they were they are going to send me to Iraq. And <laughs> at the time, this was like in the middle of the war and they promised me that they told me that, the, that by me being in the US Army National Guard, not the actual army that I wouldn't be sent there and so they lied so they basically lied after I got that letter I talked to Chris about it and like we're just like okay basically like that's that's really messed up because I signed this paper and they're making me feel like I have to go to basic training and they freaking send me they freaking just send me a letter saying that I'm gonna go to war when they promised me that I wouldn't so the day that the recruiter was supposed to pick me up to drop me off at the airport to go to basic training he was calling me standing outside of my house and I just never answered the phone and he was pissed like leaving me all these like voicemails and stuff and I just didn't go that's good yeah or else you would have yeah gone to Iraq so that's an interesting story that you guys haven't heard of I guess do you want to hear a couple more 
stories. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be too long, actually. No. No, that was already 11 minutes. Okay. So. so the next clip is actually going to be of my everyday makeup tutorial since a lot of you guys ask for me to show you what I do to get the look that I have in all my videos. You guys are going to see that in the next clip. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sweetie. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and learn how I do this everyday makeup look. This may seem like a lot heavier makeup than what other people are used to for everyday makeup, but this is just what I do, especially when I'm filming. I don't always wear lashes, but this is the look that I'm wearing when you guys ask for tutorials. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I start off with Cover Effects Foundation and I put that all over, blend it down to my neck and I've been mixing these two concealers because the shape tape that I got was too white so I had to mix in a darker color to make it a normal color. So I take this opportunity to carve the top of my brows and I'll fix it more later. And so I make sure to blend in my concealer and I create a base with the concealer on my eyelid as well. And the first thing that I do is I set my eyes because I don't want there to be crease marks marks um, and then I set my foundation in other places and even set the concealer at the top of my brows and I'll touch up my brows all over again so I usually use like a neutral tone like palette so this one's a really good one by Too Faced and so I just blend in my transition color and I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna perfect it right now but I'm applying my brow highlight first and then I'll blend the highlight and the transition color together. And so to make my eyes more of that like baby doll look that I like, I line the lower lash line with and blend it with eyeshadow. So now I'm applying some mascara and I'm applying that brow highlight to my lid and taking some uh, contour powder. I use the Morphe contour powder and I blend it into my hairline just to give me a nice glow and um, my jawline and down my neck a little bit just so that everything's nice and even. And I really like this pink blush from the Lily Pons palette. That's like the only thing that I like from there. So I'm gonna take some of my Kai lighter and put it on. I don't wear a highlighter every day, but you know, I just figured I'd do it for this. So this is the before and after these lashes. These are my signature lashes, you guys, but I'm so sad because they don't sell it anymore. Um, so I apply some mascaras from my lower lashes and it gives more of that baby doll effect. And so now I'm just applying my black eyeliner in Spiffy Liner by Morphe. It's a really nice liner, you guys. So I apply that and blend it in. And then I use this Morphe lipstick. I don't remember what color it is, but I showed you there. So I blend that all together. And then I just apply um, some Buxom gloss right over my lip. And that's pretty much all I do. Okay guys, so before I show you how I do my daily hair, I just wanted to bring you guys with me to Bellamy where I picked up my brand new hair extensions. Hey, Lex is here with me in this lovely place. You're gonna be assisting me, right? I guess. So super duper quick, you guys, I just wanted to mention Bellamy and show what they do because I honestly think they are the best hair extensions company in the world personally, just because of the service they offer. When you go into one of their beauty bars, the technician can actually apply the hair extensions for you and style your hair and trim it so that it blends in with your natural hair and this is just like a really unique service that I've never seen done by a hair extension company. I also wanted to mention they did give a discount code. I'm not being paid by them or anything and I don't really care about getting in commission but I wanted to offer you guys a discount in case you wanted to try hair extensions yourself. It just does kind of gives you a different look and they have different coloring styles so if you have balayage like I do they'll be able to give you that color effect as well which is very unique so I just thought I'd offer it and throw it out there no pressure but yeah I love these hair extensions I don't wear extensions every day but when I do this is how I style it all right oh, hey what you touched my leg right, Lex's leg is asleep <laughs> Ready? Let's go say goodbye to everybody. Bye. So guys, we're gonna start doing question of the day um, in every vlog. So our question of the day is going to be, what could this be, little Charlie? What could this be? Um, favorite <laughs> band. 
slash Betty Fritz song. Singer. Who's your favorite singer? Who's your, what's your favorite song? Every MCR song played at the exact same time on YouTube. That's mine. Uh, mine would be a mashup of Queen, Britney Spears, MCR, Insane. Yeah. Beyonce. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already joined our DMR Darling family, go ahead and do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit the notification button as well so you can be the first to be notified of all these videos we do on our channel. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We'll have our links right here and listed down below as well. In this bubble right here. Boom. Ew. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we love you, darlings, very much, and we will talk to you later. Bye, darlings. Let me crack your knuckle. No, no, no. Let me crack your knuckle. I already did it. You look like a dinosaur. Rawr. Love you, darlings. Mwah.